So I love gaming on my amazing Switch OLED, but I just can't use it in handheld mode for more than 20 minutes without my hands starting to cramp. So let's test out the QRD Stella T3s against incredibly popular Horit Split Pad Pros to see which one offers the most comfort when gaming, which one has the best features, and which one has the better price. And there was one feature of the QRDs I was particularly blown away with, so let's take a closer look. So let's dive straight in and start with comfort. And Hori Split Pad Pros are very popular because the ergonomics are so much better for gamers with larger hands like me. And they really do feel great to hold in the hand for long gaming sessions. Plus I love the texture grip on the back. QRD Stella T3s are very similar to the Split Pad Pros in terms of comfort. I've been gaming for hours with this all week in longer gaming sessions with incredible levels of comfort. I'd say they are slightly less bulky feeling than the Split Pad Pros and the texture grip on the back feels more pronounced which I love. But overall I'd say it's a draw in terms of ergonomics as they are both fantastic in this area. Next, let's talk features. The Hori Split Pad Pros have the standard Assign and Turbo buttons, a good feeling D-pad, the thumbsticks are very slightly on the looser side. There are two aspects of the Split Pad Pros though that I'm not personally a fan of, which is that the buttons have a squishy feeling which is a little odd, and also the fact that the bulky controllers massively protrude from the screen, which to me looks very weird. Oh, hi Pancake. The QRD Stella T3s also have turbo and rear buttons too, but this has six additional features that the Split Pad Pros do not have. The first is the inclusion of LED lights with seven adjustable colors. And to change them, we hold down T and click the thumbstick. And this really makes playing at night especially more aesthetically pleasing. The second is I love how flush the controllers are to the screen, unlike the Split Pad Pros. The third is that this has clickable buttons that aren't squishy and these feel so satisfying to use. Check this out. The fourth is that not only are the thumbsticks much tighter and better, but these are Hall Effect joysticks. Yes folks, you heard that right. Hall Effect joysticks are on this to prevent drifting and this is such a great feature to have. The fifth is a feature I've badly missed on the Split Pad Pros and that is vibration, which really adds immersion to the games and this has an adjustable five levels to it. Nice. And the six and what really blew me away is that these QRDs come with an attachment so it doubles up as a full joypad. This is so, so good. And finally, let's compare prices. And the Hori Split Pad Pro is coming at around £45 and dollars, with the QRD Stellar T3 is coming in around this price too. So very similar. So I don't normally cover Switch stuff right here on the channel, but I was so impressed with the QRD Stellar T3s that I just had to feature them. With the Hall Effect joysticks, vibrant LED adjustable lights, dual vibration motors to enhance the immersion, and the fact that it can be used as an actual joypad, making it an easy winner over the more popular Hori Split Pad Pros. Big shout out to Jesse and the awesome team at QRD for sending one over to test out and giving you great viewers a 20% special Black Friday off using the code BF20 through to November 28th. Link is in the description. Be sure to like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new and also let us know what you think of the Horace Split Pad Pros and these QRD Stellar T3s in the comments below. And as a little extra bonus for watching right to the end of the video, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Be patient, things will get better. If you're going through a really tough situation, then just stick it out because greater days are coming. So stay encouraged today, guys. And check this video out if you want to see some great Perry chicken from my trip to Nando's. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.